Hi, I'm Claire. I teach computer applications technology here in Johannesburg. You know how your teacher always tells you to practice past papers? Yeah, that doesn't really help if you don't know how to do half of the stuff. That's what this is for. You'll find a link to the files in the description below, along with the table of contents, so you can just click straight to the question you need help with. We all learn the best from our mistakes, so please, you have to try this by yourself before you watch this video. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start by formatting the cells in row 1. First, I need to change the height of the cell. Don't go and drag it and decide what it should be. Just right-click row height and change it to 35. Okay, then I need to insert a red border around this. Now, you can do it right here, but the safest way to do it is to go to more borders, change the color, and you see just by changing the color, nothing's changed yet, and then apply an outline. And then you can be sure it's around everything you need. Doesn't look like it, but trust me, if you go to a different view, like page layout view, you'll see it is actually around everything you need. Now they tell us the number of participants can be found in column B, so we know we're going to be working with this data. And firstly, we need to determine the total number of participants that participated in the online surveys. So to get the total of number of something, that's a sum. Next, we need to determine the most frequently occurring number of participants, and to get that, one uses the function mode. Be careful, it's not one of those, it's just the regular mode. Same range. Then, we need to insert a function to determine the number of, number of surveys. Here are the, num the survey names. Um, that did not have any participants. So they don't show a zero, they actually show nothing. So that's a count blank. Okay, so that's sum, mode, and count blank. All right, now they say, we've got a duration of stay over here, or duration of a survey calculated by using the start date and the end date and we need to show it in completed years and they've made a complete screw up of this. I'm not going to try and figure out everything that's wrong with it, I'm just going to fix it. So to determine, the num to determine the number of years, I start by using the end date minus the start date. Now I have the number of days. Now, to turn that into years, how many days are in a year, divided by 365. So, I first put brackets around these two because I want this whole answer to be divided by 365.25 if you want to be precise. That's the number of years. Okay. Now, we need, just zooming in a tad. Um, now, I need to round this down because they wanted the number of completed years. So, to do that... I'm going to insert the function round down and you remember we already added the bracket, the opening bracket um, to do the division. So we need to add round down needs to have its own bracket as well. And this whole thing that's over there, that is the number that is going to be rounded down. So I just go and click at the end, you see number, I'm just going to click at the end and insert my comma so that I can then specify the number of digits which is zero. Now we need to um, have a look here. We've got the time and it's given in the format of hours and minutes. And in cell G9, I need to display the time in decimal format. So, sorry, just moving that up a bit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say equals to that because that is the time that I want. But I don't want it displayed as time. I want it displayed as a number. So to do that, I'm going to set the format of this cell to general. Now, that is definitely not the time I'm looking for. This is the time if I look at it in terms of a break of a day. So just quickly remember how Excel sees dates. 
it sees it as days. So when we work with dates, a number one is a single day and a single day contains 24 hours. So we have time and we want to switch it. So we have a look at how many hours are in one day times 24. It's changed it to time format again. If I change it back to general, you'll see it actually shows the proper time format now. Okay, now it says there's a chart over here and the data it uses for this is, this in, is in this section. So firstly, what we need to do is we need to make this a uh, um, custom chart where the total time, the one that's in red, actually needs to be a line chart. So first we're going to do is click the chart and we're going to go to the chart tools design tab and we're going to change the chart type to a, where is that now, a combo chart. So lucky for us, it actually already chose the right one. Um, but if it was necessary, I could have swapped both of these as well. But the total time, I don't want it to be a line. I need it to be a line with markers. Let's just move this up a bit. So I need it to be a line with markers. Okay. There you go. Now, this legend needs to be number of years, not number of online surveys. So I right-click on it and I say select data. And it actually shows me here's the legend entries, number of online surveys. So... I'm rather not going to change the original data. I'm just going to edit this one and change it. Instead of referring to a cell, just typing the actual value in. Okay. Now I need to change the horizontal grid lines to sh um, display as shown if we look at what it looks like. It's actually, um, it shows minor grid lines as well. So we do that by clicking the plus and grid lines, we're going to switch on primary minor as well. And if you look at the example, there are exactly three minor in between the major ones as well. So that's right. And lastly, we need to change these horizontal axis labels to actually be in a different direction. So you'll see anything you want to edit, if you right click it and you say format, whatever that is, it brings up this little format box and then no matter what I click on, the name changes here at the top. That is what I'm formatting. So I need to be formatting the axis. Now um, you can go through all of these, but here are the size and properties and I need to change the text direction to vertical, rotate text up.